When you add weight to the movement, we treat the abdominal muscles like every other muscle. You'll notice now we have a weight, but because we're going to add the weight to the upper part of the body, we have to anchor the feet. Because now you're changing the balance between the upper and lower part of the body weight. So now we take the weight, we put it over our chest, we can hold it, you'll see we can hold it in a number of different ways. You can hold it the way Alex is holding now, you can hold it with your thumbs hooked on the inside of the dumbbells. Now, the weight is not to be used as momentum. Again, it's just, it increases the weight of the movement of the abdominals. And again, you're just learning, you're bending the spine and you're coming up. You'll notice the feet are hooked. We use the weight just like we use the weight in anything else. The ab mat is in its proper position behind the back. Now what's gonna happen, as the weight gets heavy, you see your body is gonna to try to find weaknesses. And if I can zoom in a little bit here, you'll see at the top, you'll either start to jerk like you did before, or at the bottom, you'll notice the hips. Remember, you're telling your body to move the abdominals or work with the abdominals. Now your hips are gonna to start to flip back when you start the movement because your abdominals are trying to shorten themselves before they begin the movement. Okay, you'll notice how his hips will flip back. And what it's doing is the abdominals now are shortening themselves so that they don't have to do so much work because they know that that weight is there. This is the second sheet you'll find. And again, what you'll need to do is just realize that that's a weak link and you have to work through it. So as you increase the weight, you just keep doing your sit-ups with good form, just like any other exercise. Now, if it gets too easy, you can also, a variable is to just turn the mat around so that now the, the higher angle is when you start. So now you're getting more of a stretch in the beginning part of the movement. So again, you can use weight to use it and come up that way. In other videos, what we're going to try to do is we'll do some more advanced movements so that you can do internal and external obliques separately. This is basically, this is basically how we do the abdominal sit-up.